Hey everyone and welcome back to Sasquatch Theory and today we have part two of the Killing Field series. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video and today we have part two. There won't be a part three like I mentioned before, there's just not enough footage so we're just gonna make it two different parts. In this video we are heading back to the conservation area to look for any Sasquatch sign and then we drop down into David's property to hang out with him and Linda for a little while. Later on during the video, we experience some more activity and Adam and I both see the orange orb moving through the woods. If you guys like Sasquatch Theory, please like and subscribe. And if you have a Bigfoot encounter that you would like to share, please contact me at sasquatchtheory at outlook.com. Everyone's help and support is greatly appreciated. A lot of the things I did in this video were from things that people donated and um, things that people bought and sent to me. So thank you everyone for the cameras that you bought me, the equipment, or the money that you donated in the past. I really appreciate it and I wanted to put this video together for everyone. So thank you guys. Not a lot of dust today. It's really perfect. Now we could. We're not. We're not gonna get all dirty. Yeah. Walk around. All right. Let's get out there. Look for these ponds. I hear the Sasquatch like to come out after it rains. You guys ever hear that? Anybody hear that? Yeah. Okay. Well, it just rains. So. Might be pretty good, and it's easier to walk out in the woods oh, yeah. when it's wet like this. Well, the leaves get quieter, they're not as crunchy. Mm -hmm. You can walk. The ticks are still trying to swim to the surface. <laughs> I can't believe those deer were bedded right there by us. I guess they're so used to people not getting messed yeah, with out right, here. Right, they're like, hey, boogers are not going to mess with us as long as we sleep next to people. But if deer watch you, boogers That's totally what the coyotes watch you. did around my old house where mm -hmm. I used to live. Is they would always be out in the woods and they would sleep on the edge of the woods and come out at night. And then the coyotes moved in. And then they're sleeping like next to my house. Yeah. And the coyotes never really come up by the house. Just keep going straight here. Alright, we finally made it back to this specific trail that we want to check out. It's looking pretty good, but the, the weather's pretty nice today. It's feeling pretty good. 
yesterday was pretty miserable. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that looks like an elk track or something. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What is it? Got abducted by a Bigfoot. Is that real? 22? No. Uh, Dude, this was not laying here yesterday when we come through here. No, it wasn't. I would have seen that red. Because we walked through here. Yeah. Nice, you brought the parabolic. I got the drone. We'll see what we can get. If you hear anything, we'll, we'll send yeah, the drone. Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah. I, want, I want to listen for him to stomp around. We'll pick that back up when we come through. Might need it. Eric's, you know, some you know, you mom and Robin, quick castings. Yeah. <clears throat> I tried it on some quick castings. I felt like that stuff soaked into the dirt too well. Mm hmm. Go yeah, this way. I heard stick break or something. But it could be raindrops. Oh, I saw that break over there, a little tree break. The wind's blowing and it's knocking water droplets all over the leaf. Yeah. Well, I thought it's I heard a something. Nice stick break right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's definitely a monkey in the room in here, guys. Could be. Let me check that out. I'm gonna see if it's a machete cut or a break. Mm -hmm. Looks like it could be a good break older one if it is but um if it's not a break maybe something fell on top of it at one point that's not here anymore because you can see where people have like cut wood probably dirt from them clearing out this road I think so. could be but there's two right next to each other so maybe it's a burial ground and they left it that way it does look like a mountain though. Yeah. Two of them next it's, to each other. It's, that's it's, the male. It's it's and that's oval. the female. Yeah, it's oval shaped. There's a pond over here. We got a pond. Oh yeah. Hidden pond. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. What the heck's in it? Are those turtles or what? Tires? Good spot to get frogs. Yeah. Nice little pond, man. Yeah. Loaded with frogs. That's squash Good food, Lord, dude. Man. You guys are just having a party in here. They are. Are those tires? What are those things? That's what there? I said. I thought they were turtles at first, but I think they're tires. Yeah, they almost kind of look like, like a... Some dip. Crap, got, um, oh, got rid of them. Probably oh. rolled them down this hill and tried to hide them. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I guess because it's a little burn. Or people don't want to burn them, they just throw them in the pond. Pretty good way to get rid of them, I guess. Or there could be a body in there. Yeah. So that might have been one of the ponds. Well, up here there's a food plot. Yeah. And the pond right next to it. And it like fits the description. Fits the profile. Yeah. And then you see the Trail 12 sign over there too. And that's how we marked it. Cool. Yeah, GoPro mount? Yeah. Could you put a GoPro mount in my skull? <laughs> Has a little bit of 3M tape on it and uh, stick it around. Let's just keep the, the intermittent pauses like this. Mm. Especially when we come around a bend, there's a period. 
this one I go deer hunting, I always like to sneak around, you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's just, let's meander real close, or slowly around this corner. We just keep pausing like that. Yeah, we got enough good rain last night. If there was any prints in here, they're washed out. Yeah. Hopefully we find some from this morning. If we find any, they'll you be fresh. Tell it. it got dumped on back in here. It did. Well, the mushrooms are growing. Deer haven't been messed with too much. Not yet. Yeah. Might be a good time. It's real thick right now. David had a calf go missing. Really? When? Linda said about two weeks ago. Really? Okay. Something mm -hmm. got a hold of it and tore it up. And he was trying to dress it. That's yeah, a big old hooker there. It is. Look at that. Yeah, that's a afraid to touch it because it could be. Yeah, don't be poison. Yeah. I'm not a mushroom expert, but I do care how it is red. That one looks poisonous, guarantee you. No way that one's edible. That's not good. <laughs> it, it's kind of a, but it's a bird. It's like a high-pitched screech. It kind of sounds like a deer snort, but it's just a little bird that makes like a snarly little, you know? Okay, I thought I spooked a doe, I wasn't sure. I couldn't hear it too well. It sounded kind of like a deer hoof, then I, I aimed right on it, like, oh, I've heard that little booger before. Yeah. I don't know, I think if they're going to be in this area, they're going to be all the way in the back. That's where a lot of the stuff's happened, so. That's where I tried to make it to yesterday, but we didn't want to leave our stuff at the campground too long. If you do find a track, it's going to be fresh. Oh, I know. That means they're going to be close. So we're hooking on to trail 13. Going through the conservation park. Joe's running the parabolic. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Where the hell did that pine branch come from? Oh, okay, the top of that. Joe, look at that. Look at that. Grow from the top. See? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, look at that. Yeah. yeah uh, that's see with the de the color of the needles. They usually last a two, three weeks green. I'd say this probably happened maybe a couple months ago. Yeah. How high up do you guys think that is? Uh, yeah, Adam's that looks like the right height. Adam's the tallest one. That, I'd say that, that usually when they get them, they do like shoulder like the even with their shoulder and they just kind of uh -huh. I, so that to me uh, that's a that's a 10 footer right that's a big one right there 10 11 footer i mean that right there is both of them are broken close to 10 feet. and the top of that one to the right of it Anna, is how like how tall are you scraped six up foot. okay so you're six feet and that's 10 feet that's four feet above your head right there practically or very close to it so 10 foot snap nothing monstrously crazy and what i first noticed before you even pointed that out i didn't see that was that pine the top of that pine yeah. was broken off of the pine tree and there's no other tree or limb around that would have broke it off yeah you can't see it very well but there's the top of that tree we're gonna take, find more take that back. there's a bulb there's a bulb in the wood right here is there yeah there's a weak spot in this trunk it, it, you see how it's come down, it swells, and it's kind of rotten in the middle. Mm -hmm. So something happened to this tree right here, and it just, I think the, the wind, the right wind came along and just snapped it. Mm -hmm. See, look, it's diseased right here too. See that? Yeah, but if a squatch broke it, or it went to break it, that's where it would crack at. Yeah, but look, there's a bulb right here. Mm -hmm. But this is right on the bulb. I know they, it just messes with the fibers, you know? Yeah, if it wasn't for that one next to it being broken too. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of tree breaks in here. Yeah, we'll see if we can find more to confirm what the heck this is, because it might just be wind damage or whatever. That looks like an arch. But I think it's like...
chanterelle mushrooms are growing. Squatch, I like those. Oh, there is a pond. Some deer rubs right there. Now I'm seeing where this road went. Hmm. There's like a stack of rocks over here. Wonder what's up with this. It's kind of weird. See that? Look at that. See that pine? Okay. Hey. I saw damage the like that. Right there too. Yeah. Well that that little tree is broke right there too. Like by this pond. Once it snaps off. There's rocks in the pond. Like something was throwing big rocks in there. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Weird little formation. Maybe somebody wanted to start a camp, a little fire pit, and they didn't finish it. Because they got like a hole, though. Fire ring right here. Is that what that is? Yeah, half ass fire ring. Yep. Yes. And somebody threw in a couple kids in there. Looks like a good buck rub that. Hmm, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's a big pond. Good eye, man. Looks like a good size one. Um, this is probably like the main water source for the animals around here. Dude, you could go fishing in this pond. Didn't bring my pole. <laughs> or maybe it's holding a lot of water because wow. it just rained or what? There's no elk rub right there. Wow, that's a big elk rug. Good one. Those rocks on top of the leaves. Yeah, they've been kicked over. Let's see. Let's see what we used to do. You plucked up that big rock out of that hole. Yeah. There it is right there. It's a big hole in it. Yeah. I don't know if that is an elk rug. Maybe it was at one point. It looks rotten. I know. Yeah. Well, this would be a good spot to find the tracks. Something's been rolling around in it. Yeah. Cool. Look at all those rocks, but I guess. Yeah, deer poking a Z and holes in here. Uh, hey, look at the size of that impression right there, man. Mm -hmm. like something's sitting in there. There are pigs out here. So I'm sure they're wallering in there. Oh, an alligator. Is there an alligator out there? It looks like an alligator. <laughs> it has done it. Yeah. I need to crop. I'm sure there's fish in here. They help um, maintain the pond and like clean it out and so. stuff. Yeah. Definitely hey, deer tracks. Hey, yeah, all those rocks. All these rocks. I know. That's the crazy part. Like something's throwing them in here. I wonder if they're like beaming, trying to. Try Smashing frogs or something? Yeah, maybe they're trying to kill something. Smoking deer they're getting a drink. But look at it, they're all just laying in there. Mm-hmm. I said we'll go around and head up towards that trail, back to the trailhead. Yeah, we should do a 360 around the pond and just check for tracks. Yeah. Just loop around. I'm down. And there's there's some impressions, but they're kind of soggy. Mm-hmm. Hard to find a good one. Good find, Adam. Yeah, that's good. I didn't even see it. I just thought it was a bottom, like a deep bottom. My body's like, water. Swimming. <laughs> yeah. No doubt the elk hang out around here. All the wildlife. A lot of rocks around here. That's for yeah. sure. Ah, uh, spider legs. You know what it is? Mm. Deer coming here to take a drink, and the boogers are fucking throwing rocks at them. Probably. It's a good theory. And they get bugs from inside there. They stick like the the stick in that hole, you know. Hey, notice all the little 
little sticks around it. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> the spider just bit me on the finger. Damn it. Spider bit you on the finger? White and black one. Though. That's a spy. Hey, that's a, house, a Spider Man movie. Man. The left turkey feather? Yep. Yeah. I think I got some good drone hey, footage. Remember that one day we first went out for a hike? Yeah. I found a turkey feather and boom, we walked right up on a track. Yeah. That drone footage will kind of bring everybody to the agreement that we're way out here in the middle of the forest. Yeah. That's a nice that's a nice color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh that is. That's a good one. That's a big perk. They usually they're usually not that color. There's different species in Missouri. I'm gonna have to look up this feather. It's a different feather. I've seen on Instagram some kid during shotgun season got like an all white turkey. Wow. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it looked cool. A wild one, too. Yeah. Looks like some type of emu. <laughs> Part off. Yeah. The lost raptor turkey thing. I mean, this is perfect habitat for Sasquatch. Oh, yeah, it is. If there was one that wanted to hide right now, just walk downhill and we'd never see it. Yeah. It's not thick. You can see through the woods, but the woods is so huge that they can just stay back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just keep their distance. That's what I think. They know the distance to keep from people. Like the closer you get, the further they get, and they just you can't get close to them, man. Unless you throw one off guard. There's a lot of stories where they're like crouched down. The one I seen was crouched down several, and like they get up. Like the juvenile that I seen at Merrimack Springs or whatever it was, oh. it was on all fours, crawled, got behind a tree. The bigger one I seen, he was down hunkered like this and got up and walked and then after that i saw the little juvenile and he was on all fours and crawled just like the one at merrimack swing kind of so, like a little monkey from uh congos yeah but i don't know if they're like messing with like something on the ground mushrooms but they get distracted it seems like they're really good at doing one thing at a time like us we can like eat food talk to people and watch a football game at the same time they they think that's weird like they can focus in on one thing like really good they don't, really they don't multitask. They don't multitask like we do. Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe. Man, we were pretty good ways back there. Yeah. And considering how far we are from the campground, we're, we're in the deep woods. Like, if you go back home and look at where we were, you'd be like, oh my god, that's where I was. You know? Because it's nothing but green. Long way to run cool thing is if you hear a wood knock out here, there's no houses, you know no. what I mean? No. It'd scare the shit out of you. You heard yeah, a lot. you get out this far and you start hearing wood knocks, yeah, there ain't no fucking Jethro cutting wood. <laughs> yeah. Especially the rock plaques. Hoping this mic just picks up something to record all the way out. I do hear a distant hum of a vehicle. Mm -hmm. I think somebody's cruising down. I think someone's on the conservation road. Yeah. They're probably going down in the river. There's a lot of people on, yeah, side by side, just cruising. All those beer cans you see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just cruising and looking for a good time. Oh, we got a little gut chirper followed up in the pond over here. I think, I think so. We'll go ahead and. Electromagnetic. Just let it sit there, and I'm gonna. What is it? EMF detector. Oh. If the Sasquatch um, can manipulate energy, this thing should oh. spike. I don't know. At some point, I'm just gonna leave it sitting here. I got it. Might as well use it. Electromagnetic interference. Definitely need to use that out with Mark Twain at Bill's place. I wish they had that built into like a watch. You know, as you're walking around society, getting zapped by stuff, you don't even know about it? Yeah. You can get the ones with, like, the little carabiners on them. Just click them to your belt. I know a lot of them set it right there, that way. I used to work on, they used to warn you. Yeah. There's certain buttons you can push in the cockpit and slide something. I pause. I see something, I'm like, oh. Pause and adjust it. What are you making, Joe? Beef pot roast, man. With some herbs. Yeah. Good stuff. What is that? Uh, herbs. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. How long does it take to go? Like 
but this thing, well, with a regular crock pot longer, but this is an insta pot. It's a faster pressure. It, it's a, it's like a crock pot with pressure. Okay. Pretty cool gadget. Yeah. It's the 21st century generation of a crock pot. It's gonna smell good. Oh yeah, it will be. <laughs> so we just got back from the conservation area just a little bit ago, and um, we were just hanging out at the RV talking about dog man stories. Joe's got the crock pot going. He's gonna make pot roast and um, hopefully that smell will get out there in the woods and we'll have some more activity. I think we were having some type of activity yesterday just because all day long on that ridge, that holler that's on one side of the, the camper, um, we were hearing all kinds of sounds. We were hearing sticks being stepped on, rock clacks, and it sounded like at one point like a tree got pushed over, but we're not really sure because it's so vast out here and all the sounds that we hear are really far away, even with the owls, like it's hard to tell where anything is at unless it's right up on you. And that's another thing that we noticed is up on this ridge, sound travels very oddly and it's really hard to tell where things are coming from, but um, my goal for today is to just do more research around this area, go down to the killing fields, look around and see if we can find anything new. I do want to spend some time with David and um, just chat with him about Sasquatch and what's happened on the property. He's been experiencing orbs and um, he has been for a while. I've seen him a couple times with my own eyes, but we're trying to get it on camera, but everything we get is um, a little blurry. There are some photos that do look like orbs that David has shown me, but um, I'm thinking we're gonna set up this new camera that I got for David around here. If I don't do it on this trip, David will do it and he'll be sharing the images that he gets off the SD card with me. So hopefully we get something. The goal is that um, big hairy hominid walks in front of the camera and it's a clear shot. That's my goal anyways. One right out in the open. <clears throat> David likes to put out the salt blocks, the mineral blocks, and um, some feed for the deer, and it yields better photos. But he was talking about how a lot of the activity is happening up on these ridges. And I've heard that from a lot of people. Um, I think Robert Kreider talks about how you'll find Sasquatch up high. And um, I've noticed that a lot of the structures I found are up high on the ridges. So it seems like that's where we're getting the strangest photos. We've literally been standing here for like one minute. We're gonna try the parabolic microphone on this ridge to listen down in those fields. Oh, there's a fly. I thought that was David. I heard, yeah. I'm not hearing anything. Let's go. So up there I can hear the bugs like crazy. Like they're going off. But when I aim it down here, nothing. It's a lot quieter down in this bottom. I'm just hearing a bunch of birds. A bunch of different species. I don't even hear the generator from here. It's like you get a little ways away and you can't hear anything anymore. If anything happens, hopefully it'll record it and we'll be able to get some cool footage too. People always say to strap it up on my back, but I'm not gonna do that. I have like a little clip that'll go on my backpack. We need to use that later. Adam, I have this magnet, like a clip magnet. It's a strong magnet. You think if I put the GoPro on top of my vehicle, you think it'll fly off? Or do you think it'll stay on? Uh, I mean, it's a strong magnet, but I mean, it's like I don't a $500 know. camera. I do have the sticky back mounts if you would want one of those. I'll show you my clip. Like, it's heavy duty. Strong magnet. So. Alright, we're at the killing fields. Gonna see if we can get some action. This thing keeps shutting off. Okay, there we go. Sorry. 
Let's go see if I can move it. Alright, so I told you my plan that I want to light this place up with the parabolic and the thermal and just see what we get because um, it seems like I, know, I get the feeling that I'm always being watched when I'm in the killing fields so um, I've never actually used thermal here other than last night but I've never had thermal when going in the killing fields but I mean the best time to do that would be at night honestly like to sit right here and you can see into that field So this is like one of the smaller subfields. The killing field's like right there across that thin tree line on one side of that ridge. see like a cow or something okay I'm recording I don't know like I just see like this red blob over there. I'm trying to show you how stuff PD. I don't know what those are I'll show you here in a second Wow. dude I'm like seeing stuff I'm actually like seeing heat signatures not sure if they're rocks or moving bodies Maybe it's a deer. Probably better. Yeah, that's the killing field right there. I'll have to let you see this, dude. I have to like hit. You like have to hit pause and then hold it down to record. If you don't do it right, you lose your recording. Mm -hmm. What the? That's why I'm like this, looking through it real weird. I'm trying to make sure. Okay. So if you look straight ahead. All right. So, yeah, just look through the thermal. You'll see like a red dot over there. See that? Just kind of scan around. I don't see anything though with my eye. Now, if you look over here, it looks like there's a cat in there, like a cat bedded. Yeah, scan to your right. Just keep scanning. You see that? What is that? Is it a cat or a deer? Right in that. Right yeah, it's right in that strip. All right, let me zoom in with um, my camera. I can't tell right now, but we might be able to. There's something in there. We got a heat signature, and we're trying to figure out what it is. There's something over here for sure. Yeah. I kind of see it, but yeah. I yeah. can definitely see it on thermal. Yeah, in this clearing over here. Maybe it's a tire. It could be a tire, the rubber from the tire. So there was a bunch of deer that just ran up that ridge right there. I mean, they were booking it. They were getting after it. Yeah, there. I don't know what, what freaked them out. Maybe it was us, like they, they noticed that we were back here. Their tails were tucked, man. They weren't like galloping either. They were freaking moving. Yeah, something spooked them. All right, this isn't even the main field. This isn't even the killing field, really. That that one they ran through, the one we just saw them run through, that's the killing field. Yeah, he took me out in it. You come down that other trail and you come out right in the killing field. Mm -hmm. You just got that tree line that runs up this little creek. Yeah. He brought me down and took me out, and we come back up yesterday and we come to get the camper. That's cool. I was like, wow. Yeah. Oh, you got... You camped down there? Yeah. No. Not down there. 
I was say, yes, oh, you're brave. How cool would it be to just set up right in the middle of the He did come down the wrong trail. Yeah, that's why those deer are running. My God, that freaking Jeep will go, won't it? Yeah, I want one. Nah, I'd rather get a Ford. See those deer ran through there? I saw something. I'm just zooming in to see. Maybe we'll capture something watching us. It's hard to hold. There's been a lot of activity up there and um, I told you I found all those rocks that were moved and we think that's their ammo pile. Nope. Oh, there he is right there. You see all those deer running away from you? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, you said don't take the first left. Yeah. So I stayed straight. Took me down a big old. No, we said stay left. You have to stay left, just not the first left. The second left. <laughs> all right, let's go <laughs> up to David's. Oh, here's that creek system. This one goes through the current river conservation area, but you can walk it because it's all gravel. All right, let's go up there if you want. Just wanted to check this out a little bit. When that, uh, when that's running, everything else is up high. Come on in. Okay. Brought the parabolic down. Is this, this your driver? What is it? This. That's this. this. Oh, we oh yeah, this one. Energy drink. <laughs> it gives us the energy to chase monsters. Yeah. <laughs> they go straight up the beam. It's all this wood. Like a tree. I pooped his hind end all the way up there. Wow. And I'll be darned, I no sooner got back in here, sat back down in my chair, and the little bugger was back up there doing it again. <laughs> he got it real good that time. Had about 15. Had about 15 coons out here on the back porch. Right after I talked to him. So I took a can of sardine, or, uh, uh, oh, it was uh, that. Uh, can tuna. Mm -hmm. Oh, can tuna. I took it out That's there. That's their pop top. Yeah. I took it out there and I set it right down in the middle of them. They went over and first, just as soon as I set it down, they went over and they smelt of it. They didn't even touch it. They, they just kind of smelled of it and went on and sat there and looked at the door wanting to know if I was mm -hmm. going to pour anything out. I left it out there for, they never, they never even carried it off. My friend Bill from Mark Twain, he said he's got mesh for us, or mash. Oh, we really? Yeah, yeah, he was making some drinks and stuff, and he said he's got a whole bag for me. So we'll have to try it in front of um, some of the trail cameras, but I hear animals love it, like, apparently. Well, Wildlife, elk, that anything, cows, USDA guy kids. told me that's what they get pictures of them with. Said get, they just yeah. love that stuff. Said hogs love it, but so does them things. Like if you had a whole barrel filled up and Sasquatch actually loved it, I'm sure you could get a photo. Yeah, he said they, he'd go up there and get some. And I've heard strange stories with people's like corn feeders and stuff like that. Um, Sasquatch can get into those too, so. Huh, well they could. Something about food, man. It's like they're intelligent, but they're slaves to their stomachs or something. Well, so are we. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hope Adam's all right. I had a stroke one time down in Panama. And let me tell you, I spent a week in the hospital over it. I could hear him saying, and I was trying to tell him that I was all right. I'd be fine, I was all right, yeah, but I couldn't talk. House from an old farm, just this center ridge right here, right, right up there. Mm -hmm. 
it goes right to it uh, through the park. It's out there in the park by the shooting range. And it's a concrete, it's a concrete structure with a slanted top with a big, about a three by three square cut out in it where they could get water. Mm -hmm. Fresh water. It, the water looks like it's about two foot deep in there, inside it. Still, it. still flowing good? Oh yeah, yeah. And whenever it gets extra, they, they separated, they made little overflow holes in this concrete structure to where it would only hold like three foot of water. Okay. And then it runs out through them holes into mm -hmm. the, the creek, little stream bed there. But I happened to find that because I knowed if if these things was human like, they ain't gonna want no old dirty pond water right. to drink. And if it wasn't for getting the camera stole, I'd put one up there yeah. uh, at that thing. It's an old homestead. Is you what did the camera about fifteen feet up, angling down? You get them up real high. You try yeah. that. I've, yeah, me and him tried it mm -hmm. over here, but you don't get much that way. Yeah, it's got to be right underneath you yeah. before it sets off camp. It, so it can walk all around. You know, it can anything. Yeah. Deer. Well, if you got the target though, like the spring. Well, with that right one, on there. with that one, and that that uh, three by three square, that's the only way to get down in it. See, so. Oh. All they they could lean right over that hole, the lid, and uh, get down in there and get them drink. Because right now the water's not running out of it; it's just staying right there. So you're saying right now would well. be a good time to go check it, probably. It's pretty probably. dry out there. If it wasn't for it being all rocks and moss and stuff, mm. you'd probably find footprints there. Yeah, yeah. but. This center ridge right here, if you look on Google Maps, it's a high spot all the way down there to that. And it's only about, oh, probably a mile. Were you seeing those two orange orbs? That creek leads like to the back conservation area. Yeah. And close to that ridge, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it runs right here, right along, all the way up through there. Right along that ridge. We should walk that, guys. Yeah. Walk that ridge? Yeah. I got some photo. I put a trail camera down there. I got photos of bobcats and turkey. I mean, they were coming through underneath that fence, so. I'll be there. That's where the squash would come through, probably. Oh, oh. down here underneath my fence? Yeah. There's always an experience that I forget that I had. And, and it was whenever you took me to where the elk busted that fence up uh -huh. and I, I think you left me back there one day by myself and i was doing my own thing there was these big trees back there i heard something growl like a roar and i never huh. saw anything just like like it was loud huh. i just never saw anything but i always forget about that but that and whenever you were showing me that three-toed track when i first came i could hear that knocking oh, oh you see a three-toed track here yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah. I've seen a three toe. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, yeah, he's got some neat photos of that. Uh, they, yeah. I found a five toe one, and then I found a three toe one. I had just got done and cleaning three some perfect stuff. toes. Like yeah, just three. Yeah, big fat. You know. Yeah. I think I found a track. Remember up on that ridge, like in the dirt, in the middle of the trail. We're both. Yeah, it might have been something. To me. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you get the left and the right foot? They both. No, three? just one foot. Okay. And that that's what I couldn't understand because I had cleared out a big old area, bigger than this room right here, just bare dirt. And that thing, it was on the edge of it, about 10 foot in, but it's just one track and it was down about that deep. I could cast it pretty easy, but I didn't know how to cast nothing. I researched how to cast plaster of Paris. So you, you set like a trap of dirt to get a print, don't you did? No, no, I was fixing the like a food plot in there because oh. I had a deer always in there. And that was actually where I tied the apple and the banana up. Okay. And because I was getting pictures of something coming uh -huh. through there. 
and uh, I tied an apple up first and the apple it just completely disappeared the string matter of fact still hanging up there in that tree uh, and then I put I didn't have no more apples so I took a banana I said well if these things are like a monkey they're gonna like a banana and that banana rotted right mm -hmm. there hanging in that tree it didn't it didn't even nothing touched it but so maybe some hands what happened to your son he had an experience up there with in the camper is that where we are oh, right now yeah when he was i was trying to tell him that story but i couldn't remember it well enough he he was staying in our pop-up camper and that's just a off the ground tent and but he said about two o'clock in the morning something slapped the side of that camper Okay. Said it woke him up and scared him so bad that he couldn't go back to sleep. So they're camper slappers out here. Like the stories that Adam was telling me about the people he knows. Uh -huh. I mean, they mess with people's well, campers. and they put a big old handprint on his dad's motorhome. Yeah. So and over there in Bunker or between Bunker and Salem, that old boy had a print of one on a screen door or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but your, your neighbors with the greenhouse, there's yeah. strange stuff going on there too. Yeah. <clears throat> Leaving prints on the greenhouse from the inside. Ooh. I'll be darned. So they're turning the door handle, going in, messing around and leaving the door wide open. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know, People don't want to know about paranoia or all this extra stuff that goes on. But if you don't look at the whole story, if you want to cut parts out of it, you're never going to learn the actual truth, you know? Mm -hmm. So you got, you got to put in everything that goes on, whether it's Sasquatch that disappears and all that stuff or something else. Yeah. You know, it's still that it, Van Buren boy that passed away. Mm -hmm. That's strange right all there. All that yeah. The old man last year season? Yeah. yeah. And the story doesn't sound right, like the story they gave and the I, details on what happened. Because Adam don't, said I don't think they ever found the deer. You know, if he shot one or if he went looking for it, why didn't he take his rifle? You know, stuff like that. Well, yeah. And the spot they looked at already thoroughly is where they found the body the next day. Mm -hmm. Now, my friend Mark, he's a highway patrol. He may know a little more about it, actual about it, because he might have been on the... He's uh, one of the main guys here in this area. Been mm -hmm. here for years. And he may actually know more about it, the actual facts. Yeah. But, uh, you know. And it come down. We sit I'm looking all the way into that pine floor. Down. I mean, it's just a large animal. animal. They got a huge appetite. What do you and do? And it had, there was a big stone. It's like a big bear that hasn't had enough food. It couldn't I mean, eat it. Huge. Well, it was and the, the thing about it is. Yeah. I was right around over there well, in what an Miguel an calls the killing an fields, mm -hmm. and I was hanging a camera up, and I, things had been happening so and much, I put a camera on my old mule three, sitting over there, my old side by side. I had it on the dash, on and it was recording while I, it I wasn't facing me, but I was putting this camera up on the, this deer to video whatever come after that deer, and something over there on the it's side, the, the hill where you guys are camping, started coming down that hill, and that camera, that side by side was sitting there running, and that camera picked up that noise, whatever that was, coming off that hill. Yeah. It was so loud. And it also picked me up saying, well, time to go. <laughs> I headed back to the house. But, and, I played it for Linda, and it scared Linda up there. And I, I'm not so sure that that ain't where it put that tree is in when it was making that brush on Yeah. David said that there was one getting into his barn or something getting in there.
talked about that in one video. You said something about the younger one Saga was getting a whooping? Yeah. On that side side. So if it can catch a deer, I don't have no chance anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. You know. Yeah. Uh, or a hog. That day that thing oh, was samurai coming. Samurai chatter negotiation. <laughs> I got that. I've got that samurai chatter stuff on this phone right over here, but yeah. I don't know how to to make it to bring it out good to yeah. where you can really hear it. Uh, I recorded it one night. I think it was last. I think it was last winter. Uh, I got a recording in one of my research areas, and it was what it did the night before. It it was. It, they picked up where I was hiding this recorder near a water hole. Uh huh. And it was it was in the pines above a water hole. It was a good and there was just animals always cruising through here. That's the dog. Yeah, he's got a little bit like US that. Coast Guard That's orange that. thing around his head. Yeah. Good idea. Oh my god, man. There he is the whole time. Yep. Yeah, man. Yep. You are we looking have around. This guy's doing the lakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he put them in that, and they all died whenever he's in jail, so they all died. I tell you, we heard noises during the day, yesterday, up along that ridge on the other side. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and in, in the night, we heard owls calling off. That same spot, one, didn't sound well, like owl. It very, sounded awkward. Very, he did it like a little, just a little, woo, you know. No kidding, I had my parabolic aiming straight out. It just was... We had the vehicles parked in front of the camper, and the light from the camper cast over those cars and made a dark shadow deep into the woods. So I figured, okay, they might sneak up in the shadows. So I just, I was hiding in the shadows, just shooting in the shadows with the parabolic. He lets off a nice howl, and no, then 10, 15 seconds later, it sounded like just people like screaming, howling, yelling back. It was not an owl. It was. Yeah, it sounded awkward. Yeah. Huh. And well, then the owls kicked in. Oh boy. Yeah. And we actually went inside and we're like, with one behind us, regular owl. This one over here. There's always one didn't up sound, there that sound sounds like a, fake. Uh, yeah, a yeah, yeah, exactly. There's one up there that does that. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know why. I goofy, goofy thing. Yeah, it tries to, it does like, well, it's either a malformed trachea on an owl or it's, it's a, something else. He kept doing research, but we started packing up all our stuff, putting as much as we could in there, because it was flickering at that point, and we knew it was going to rain at any point. But well, they come a dandy last yeah. night. Some it woke me up, the thunder and lightning, yeah. and, and I was thinking, I wonder if he's in that hammock. <laughs> oh, it struck right on the other side of that ridge behind us. Boom! Oh, did it? Real loud, yeah. Down there where Sean's at, they say they have bad re reports on them looking in people's, hovering down in people's window and looking in their houses. I'll tell you what, there's a reason it's to get It's like a 3D world of Trail 12. You can see all those fields. You can look around. I don't mind someone flying over see, there. It'll be. Yeah. Like Makes like a 3D picture. It just starts taking like a bunch of pictures. Uh-huh. And different it angles and puts it all together yeah Good 
Come on. Come on, girl. Deer really trust you and they want that food too. Well, they're having them look now, these look pretty good, but that one right there, you can see her ribs. Yeah. over the deer try to get some drone shots or um you can't you want to Where did um you have that cow that calf go missing at? It's on the other side, over there. Okay. It was the last time I seen it, and uh, something had caught it, and it got away. It had two big old hunks of meat, mm -hmm. one out of its back and one out of its hip. And it was a newborn, and I tried and tried and tried to catch it and doctor it, and I guess whatever caught it had it so scared you couldn't even slip up on it mm. and I never could get a hold of it to doctor it so then it was about a week old and it just disappeared completely I haven't seen it since yeah so I know probably whatever got it the first time probably come back and mm. got it well, a drone would have been useful to maybe look for it. I don't know. It's pretty thick out in the woods, but. Well, it wouldn't have been. I mean, whatever got it would have carried it maybe out in the woods, but mm -hmm. uh, its mama was kind of, she can't get around too good. She's an old cow, and, and uh, she stayed in the field. So, but. That's okay. the whole problem. She was so crippled up. She's so old that she really couldn't protect it. Mm -hmm. And the other cows, they would go on and she'd be left by herself. So, but that's part of it. Okay. We're, what do we want to do next? Where do you we'll want to go? go up here at the other end of the field. 
okay. killing field here and feed these up here. And then we'll go back around the other side and I'll show you them tree breaks. Yeah, yeah, I wanna see those. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How is that camera? It takes a good picture. Yeah. I lowered it yesterday because that, there's a limb up above it that keeps blowing in the wind and setting it off. Yeah. Have you seen any hogs lately? Nope. No. No? I've seen no sign. We found some spots down there in the park where they may have been wallering, but there's no oak and deer as well, so it's hard to tell what, what was doing it. Nice time of day now. Sure is. It got really hot earlier. It was pretty humid. And you didn't even want to kill you. Yeah. You can't breathe. Yeah, the thermal wasn't working out too well last time. Oh, you want to try to get some thermal of these deer or anything around? What do you want to do? Where are we going, David? We're going up to the other yeah. end of the place. Sounds good. Okay, I'll bust out the thermal when we're up there. You don't mind if we drive through these fields at nighttime with thermal? Okay. Oh, yeah. Loving that feed. Excuse me, girl. Oh, wow, we got the whole battalion coming. The whole clan. She's the one that lost the calf? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and last time I seen it is up here right at the wood line. Hmm. Well, I smelled something bad just back here. I'm not sure what it was. If it was winter time, we might be able to find it with the drone, but... Yeah. Come here, Where are they coming? They're all excited. Yay, food. Clementine, you done had yours. Here, Patch. Happy cattle. Did that one get the buck pictures that you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Man, they've been digging at it though. I wonder if those guys are having any luck up there. Where'd they go? Where'd those guys go? Adam and um. Did you hear that behind me? Uh-uh. Something back here. Something like broke a limb or something. I heard something back here. I don't know what it was. I don't know, it sounded like something big. Oh yeah, there's that deer. It's just right there.
Come on, girl. Come on. Bird laughing at us. Yeah. It's a jungle in here. That actually looks like it's touching. Yeah. Did you just notice that or? No. Okay. I've got, I had a lot of pictures of it. Yeah. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, you got quite a few cameras now. Yeah, I think I got, well, with that one that you brought, there's six. Yeah, you need them though because the size of your property. These deer love it out here. This is paradise for them. This is the Ozark Mountains. Yep. Not as mountainy as the Rockies. I just learned that South Carolina. Yeah, they are. What do you do, though? Go out and learn how to fish a new lure. Yeah. I, I go by myself, usually, because nobody else wanted to not catch fish. Right. You know? And a lot of times, that's what it was. You wouldn't catch no fish until you figured out how to fish whatever new bait you was fishing with. It yeah. took me a long time to figure out how to fish a spinner bait in Kirk River. Yeah. And a crank bait. It oh, took yeah, a long time long. to figure out that. The most effective thing I could do on this property is if something walks out, boom, we We'll nail it with these with these cameras. I set up an audio recorder last night, but I ended up taking it down because it was gonna storm. But I put it back out a little bit further down than where I had it, so we'll get one night of audio. Well, the old Harry man said he had an audio recorder out too. Yeah, I did my whoop and immediately something replied and sounded half almost like a like an owl but I don't know unless you got a sick owl back there like he ran into a tree and messed up his beak or something <laughs> right here. yep oh wow I've never seen this barn fence if I did I didn't oh really this pay attention They they built a log cabin out of them landscaping timbers. Mm -hmm. Them little ones that you bought buy at Walmart. They're two. They got flat sides on two sides and then round. Mm -hmm. And they built that whole cabin out of them, and it looks really nice. Yeah. What is that land right there? What is that thing? I'm gonna check it out. Like a metal bucket. Nope. I don't know, you want me to grab it? Oh, it's here with like some wire fence and stuff. Hey, I found you a big old mushroom yesterday. Mm -hmm. What kind? I think it's one of them kind that you look for all the time, them uh Chanterelles? Chanterelles? Yeah, we found some too. It was a big one. Really? Uh, That's a good sign. Last year when I was out here around this time, I left my place, there was mushrooms growing everywhere, and when I got down here, there was a new mushroom. Not. Yeah, and the same scenario this time, except there were some mushrooms here this time. Hmm. But, well, that one's up there before I put that other camera up. Yeah. Uh, Look at that. All we got is it's green. 
I know that. Yeah, that's true. The doctors don't. Right over the trail. Did you notice that? Yeah, I pushed it out of the way. It was all the way across the really? trail. Really? I come up through here bush hogging the road, pushed it out with the tractor. That's fairly close to that X, too. Hang on, stop right here. I mean, if you've seen those lights, calf went missing. There's all the brakes. I'm sure they're around. I'll tell you something else. Strange. Because whenever tires get put in the middle of your road, your, really? your Tire? trail. Yeah. Old tires. Yeah. I got a pile of old tires right here. Uh -huh. And they got, I think it was three. Got, got put in my road right here. Right there in the road, huh? Yeah. That is strange. Oh, wow. Right in the middle, too. I mean, coincidence? Maybe. Right in the middle. As if to say, don't come back here anymore. Yeah. There's another break yeah. right there. But look at all three of those next to it. They're broken, too. You got some damage over here. I sir. got, I got some more brakes down here. Yeah. There's a lot of new stuff out here. I'm glad you brought me back here. I had no idea. That looks like a big X back there. Did, have we seen that before? Or no? no? Yeah, that kind of looks like something right there. Maybe. I guess trees can fall like that, but there's another big one back there. Yeah. Right at the boundary line, too.
is a nice view. Is that close? like a red light over there? Yeah, I did. I did. That's what got my attention. Whoa. That was like an orange light. Just like he said. Whoa. That freaked me out. You see that? I saw it again, dude. Does that make your night vision better? Oh yeah, dude. I don't even look like at this screen. Oh yeah, it's like having spotlights. That was weird. That was like an orb. Yeah, I've seen the red color. Moving up that way. It wasn't like a lightning bug. Like that green light. Like that. Okay. That's the camp up there. Yeah. It was moving up to our camp. It was moving up to our camp. Down that, from out of the woods. Yeah. Coming from the camp. So. No, that's coming from the park. I see another one. Did you see me whip my head that way? Yeah. And then you're like, whoa. whoa. I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. You can't see the road from here either. No, no way. Way too far away from the road. Oh shit. The lightning bugs are freaking me out. <sighs> now, anytime the bugs light up. Well. Man, it's really hot and muggy out here. It's been so toasty. Last night. 
we had to put all, all the gear back up into the camper because lightning and rain came in and um we were we went to bed and it was around midnight what at the highway maybe like a big truck with my alarm I went from this one. Do it again. It's like once we start talking, that happens. But yeah, I can confirm we've seen an orange light going through the woods. That was weird. And David was talking about just seeing some orange lights. Yeah. You want to do a wood knock? Oh yeah. Well, let's do something. I don't know how loud this will be. Dog man, you hear that? It doesn't freak you out if I talk about dog man, does it? Dude, that didn't sound like an owl or a cow. Woo, 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 woo. Something like something like running up the hill or something. Did I hear an animal over there? You hear that? Hear those footsteps? Like coming up the shed? Sound like something big is coming up here. Up here. Oh. That's your light. Uh, freak me out.
it's really muggy out. With humidity, the thermal dope doesn't operate very well, so I'm not really going to get good pictures. Hopefully, we'll see the heat change. So. Yeah, I heard something up this way, coming up the hill. That freaked me out. There are cows down there. So maybe we did hear something. You know? Not seeing anything on the thermal, man. Nothing around us right now, anyway. Oh, we got something down here. Far away, I can't tell what it is. Could be an owl, could be deer, something. All right, it's been raining all last night. It rained every night that we were here and um, it started raining in the morning hours and it hasn't stopped. Lightning struck again pretty close to the RV and um, it definitely startled us. I went out and got the audio recorder and um, we're just sitting here listening to the forest and hoping that the Sasquatch show up. But um, it was a pretty good trip. We experienced some stuff, didn't we? That South Ridge is like where we got a bulk of the activity. It seemed like it was all coming from downwind. Yeah, it was all coming from downwind. When we first got here, I told you guys I heard like a stick break, some rock clacks, and like something, like a tree fell over there or something. It was loud. But when you were here, you also heard some stuff with me. And um, when you and Joe were here, I wasn't around. You guys heard that stick break. And Joe was sitting here. We talking about dog just sitting there just talking about like in encounters and stuff and mm -hmm. we heard a big snap out here behind the camper <laughs> it stopped both of us in mid conversation we were both like what was yeah. that you know yeah and i did that whoop yesterday those owls started going off that same side it sounded really weird like it was just like a messed up owl like Sorry. it ran into a tree and his beak was messed up a little bit or something <laughs> It didn't sound right at all. It definitely sounded fake. The strangest thing was when we were way down that ridge yesterday, last night, and um, I did that whoop call, and we were hearing strange stuff down in there in the killing fields. You can hear the cows going off and some weird sounds. I couldn't really make out what they were. Hopefully the parabolic microphone picked it up, but then I looked over and I saw this orange light going up the ridge towards our camp. And then I look over at Adam to see if he saw it, and he's already looking at it. I'm not sure if I got it on film. I'm not sure if he got it on film, but maybe. Well, I caught it out of the corner of my eye, and I turned and looked at it and just had my camera at my waist. I wasn't watching what I was filming. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, maybe it was a firefly? And then you're like, whoa, did you see a light? And then I caught a second glimpse, and I'm like, okay, I did see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was orange. About yay big. Yeah. I said five feet off the ground. He said it was a little bit higher, but it was in the trees. It wasn't like in the, the top of the trees, like skyline. It was like moving through the trees up the ridge towards this camper. Now, the settling part was it was heading towards the camper. Yeah. I, I, I had a really bad feeling down there. I told you that when he was walking down there, it's like a bad feeling. Yeah. Didn't feel right. Felt, felt creepy. Yeah, it did. But um, we're going to pack up our stuff. I think it's going to keep raining most of the day. And um, I'm going to put this film together for you guys. And hopefully we capture something with the drone or something. Something on audio. 
But yeah, until the next one, I appreciate you guys watching the Killing Field series, and um, it was a pleasure having Adam and the Ozark Harry Man out here as a guest. And I appreciate David and Linda for their yeah for their hospitality and their kindness.